Galaxy S24 Ultra versus OnePlus 12 speed test. Let's go ahead and begin with a boot up in three, two, go and see which one can get there first. Now we're coming off a exciting comparison between the iPhone 15 Pro Max and the Galaxy S24 Ultra in which we found some pretty great results for the new kid on the block. But can the OnePlus 12, the also the new kid on the block, take down the S24 Ultra? Well, in the area of the boot up, not quite. The S24 Ultra does feature the Snapdragon 8 Gen 3 for Galaxy. We have the 8 Gen 3 over here, 16 gigs of RAM on the right, and 12 gigabytes of RAM on the left. Oxygen OS 14, and we do have One UI 6.1 over here. Okay, so when it comes to the in-display fingerprint sensors, both of them have quite nice ones. Let's go ahead and see how they unlock. Looks like the Galaxy's flying animation might be a little slower. Yeah, definitely. So the OnePlus to me definitely looks a little faster. And just judging by looking at these phones, they definitely don't look very similar. The OnePlus a lot more curvy, um, ergonomic, whereas the S24 Ultra definitely a more boxy, ultra styles, huge phones. Performance here of the One UI 6.1, non-linear animations on board, super smooth. Um, performance it still has that typical thing where when you first turn it on it's a slightly slower but once it gets booted and warmed up it's all good to go it's super quick super fast and samsung has really improved the actual smoothness factor of the phone but it's going up against one of uh, arguably the smoothest phones i've ever used if not the smoothest um, and so i do think that the if there was a word you know we called it buttery <laughs> i definitely feel like the one plus 12 is still a little bit more buttery smooth than the Samsung, but we'll have to see how it fares in the actual app test. Okay, so we've arrived at the app test and everything is closed out for both phones, but Instagram. So let's go ahead and close those out. And we'll go ahead and show you on the OnePlus, high performance mode has been turned on. This basically jacks up the performance a little bit. Let's go into calendar and speeds up animations. You'll see that was pretty darn close. Let's go into calculator. That's the OnePlus on the animations. Let's go into clock. One plus faster on the animation there. And what I like about these phones is that you have great options here, both very fast. Let's go into weather. Both quite different as well, faster on a Samsung for the weather app. Let's go into Play Store. It might have been Samsung, it could be, could have missed it, let me know. Apps, pretty much the same. Set up out of there. Groupon. I think that was a Samsung, but the OnePlus is, oh my goodness, these are blazing fast. The, look at that, equal performance. It's harder to see the differences when you're comparing the same CPU. It's a little bit tighter when you do that, when you compare the same exact CPU. Let's go into Instagram. I know they clock it different for the Samsung, for Galaxy, Snapdragon, but you know, with the high performance mode on, it really is kind of boosting it up anyway on the OnePlus. Let's go into eBay. And look at that, literally giving you the same performance, a hundred dollars less, but you're not getting the same ecosystem, the same resale value. So there is things to be said, and you're not getting an S Pen equal on Starbucks, Jetpack Joyride. Now the OnePlus has this gaming engine thing that turns on, you can play like that faster for the OnePlus. Let's get up out of here. And let's go into Subway Surfers. And you'll see this is going to go faster to the Samsung. And literally, you know, you're just looking at a flat screen on the left versus a more curved screen on the right. So if you want your flat screen, go with the S24 Ultra. If you want your curved screen, go with the OnePlus. You'll be happy either way here. So let's go into Dead Trigger 2. And you'll see that faster on the left. So even without a high performance mode, the Samsung is kind of already super fast anyway. Let's get up out of here. Let's go into Tempo Run 2. Visually though, I think that the OnePlus, when you turn on the slower animations, it looks very visually pleasing. But when you turn on high performance mode, it looks very snappy. The Samsung winning it there, even on Tempo Run. <laughs> Let's go into Play. I did find that I tested these beforehand with the high performance mode turned off and it wasn't too noticeably different. Uh, the OnePlus's animations just looked a little bit slower, but barely noticeable, and more buttery smooth, in fact, and with this high performance mode on, it just looks very snappy, very quick. So, let's see how we do on Free Fire here. 
loading up here first on it looks like the one plus is going to get it here yeah the one plus a little bit faster there let's go into hill climb 2 and we'll just see another little basic game most phones could run it i know but let's just see that one's faster than a samsung let's go into asphalt 9 and it looks like they're trading a couple of here but i am thinking the samsung is loading these games a little yep a little faster again on the samsung so it's quite nice let's go into pubg mobile I'm very impressed with the S24 Ultra's performance, man. Compared to some Samsungs from before, it's just incredibly fast. There we go on the left. And here comes the OnePlus. OnePlus though, for the price, man. That is a blazing fast phone as well. But it looks like the S24 Ultra is just gonna take it once again. Some people will say, well, this is where it matters when you're really opening the games and you're doing the more heavier things. Even with the high performance mode on, Samsung is taking a lot of these set play and let's go here speed test net faster on the left and Geekbench 6 faster on the left so overall I would say Samsung took more of these definitely I just have to give it to them there even with the high performance mode on Samsung took more of these it's probably because Qualcomm specifically designed that Snapdragon Gen 3, 4 or Galaxy. There's probably like an overclocked CPU or something in there. I'm not exactly sure, but even with high performance mode on, it wasn't able to take down the S24 Ultra here, but it wasn't far behind. So I still think it's very, very worth the price point. All right, so let's go ahead and do the RAM management now. We'll go back through all applications and see how it does here. So Samsung doing very well, 12 gigs of RAM. And I've been doing some multitasking. I'm still working on my review here. So give me a few days. You know, I gotta, I gotta really use the phone. I'm not just gonna pull something out of nowhere without giving you an in-depth take. So, but I will tell you in these past few days, I've been really pushing it and using some multitasking and it has not broke a sweat here on the S24 Ultra. Heat wise right now, I'm not feeling anything crazy. And you can see right here, just really smooth performance. Very good stuff there for the S24 Ultra. Let's go ahead and take a look here now at the OnePlus and see what we're capable of getting. Let's go to Geekbench. So see, with this high performance mode on, these animations, they just look insanely fast. Turn that off though, and they'll look a little bit more buttery smooth. Set up out of here. I do have to say, I really like the curved display on the OnePlus for back gestures. However, I don't really like curved displays as my everyday practical phone. So I find the S24 Ultra a little more practical um, with this flatter screen, but I like how the curved OnePlus feels. It feels very ergonomic in the hand, just not my favorite for everyday use. Now, if I turn off that high performance mode for a second, you see how the animation just got more buttery smooth versus that snappier look that we had a second ago. And with 16 gigs of RAM, the OnePlus was not relaunching anything. So very nice performance on both of them RAM management wise. Okay, so the final Geekbench 6 scores are in. And, you know, it's kind of interesting because a 2168 versus 2213 single and a 5899 multi versus 6658. This kind of looks exactly how what we've seen in the app test. Just a little bit quicker on the Samsung. And these scores kind of reflect that. So I'm not surprised whatsoever, but let's go ahead and see how they perform on the 3D Mark Wildlife Extreme Test. We're just gonna do a quick one minute or here, and we're gonna see, you know, what kind of um, what kind of GPU scores we get, what kind of frame rates and stuff like that. So I'll be back when they are in. So another interesting result: the Samsung losing to the OnePlus here. Okay, now I feel some heat on the Samsung. Not too bad, but. I feel a little heat up at the top, 4116, and then we have 24 FPS scoring better than, looks like 90% of other devices. Now, the OnePlus is interesting here because maybe they're boosting its performance in terms of the um, GPU, um, but you can see 4718, 2825. Um, but that's something that they really focus on is gaming performance with the OnePlus 12. So I'm not surprised by this result. I will tell you that the heat um, feels better right now on the OnePlus 12. So I'm not sure if it has better heat sink or whatever, but it definitely feels not as hot as the S24 Ultra. But the S24 Ultra is not as hot as the 15 Pro Max was when I first got that. So take that for what it is. But 
this score is better than 92% of devices. So pretty interesting results. Uh, faster CPU scores for the Samsung, faster GPU scores for the OnePlus. Um, either phone will be an absolute monster in gaming though. Either way you go, you're gonna be a very happy user of both. All right, so let's see what they do with the speed test, the, the Wi-Fi speed test. So let me go ahead and get that one going. And while we're doing that, I'll make sure this other one is on the same Wi-Fi server. Wow, we're getting almost 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 600 down, so not bad. Not bad whatsoever. In terms of the upload, we're looking at about 23.71. So let's go ahead and take a look at the OnePlus now and see what kind of download speeds we get here. And it looks like, come on, let's get it. Are we gonna beat the Samsung? Oh, not so far, maybe. Oh, okay. This is crushing the Samsung in this test. You'll see 656.28. This is the same server too, by the way, so no no excuses, but the upload's looking exactly identical, just about. Yeah, so 23.5, 23.7 over there. So the download, for some reason, much faster here on the OnePlus. I know this is not indicative too much because everybody's network speeds are different, but I thought it would be fun to just throw that in there. And last thing we're gonna do is go ahead and pop the cameras open and see which one has a faster launching camera. Now I'll tell you, I do like the camera performance better for the Samsung. I will do more testing on that to show you that in the future, but I can already tell you, I think the camera is better. All right, so let's go ahead and open up the cameras. Three, two, go. Looks like Samsung had that. Let's go ahead and close them. Three, two, go. Now the OnePlus, I'll do it again. Let me go ahead and do it again. There's this little hair on my screen, on my Samsung screen, it is annoying me. Let's go in three, two, go. All right, it's, it's nearly the same. Switching between lenses, both of them pretty close. I think the Samsung look a little choppier, but this is a little hair on my screen right here, irritating me. Anyway, let's wrap it up here. At the end of the day, I think these are super early, almost evenly matched. The Samsung, I would say, takes the win in actual app launching speed. It looked a little bit faster in most of the apps, and that CPU seems a little bit higher clocked than the OnePlus or something. Some boost is going on because it feels a little faster in those type of things. But the OnePlus has a gaming engine, and it stays cooler to the touch, so I think it's probably the better gaming option. But both of them are really good and, and very, very tight, very, very close here. So we're really gonna come down to, um, do you want the Samsung uh, seven years of updates or do you want the OnePlus's value price point? You get four here, um, but you get a lot for your money. So this is a really tight call here. Um, it's really gonna be up to you, but let me know your thoughts down below in the comments. Thumbs up if you enjoyed it. Subscribe if you haven't already. Nick here, be sure to be well and peace.